you need to have an overall, an absolute overall uh, to the whole education system. The values that we need to teach students about are not there. there uh, I need to get people to look at the curriculum, to look at, you know, uh, and curriculum is the most important. It's not building schools. I mean, even a good overview of history, you know, you don't get that in, in at school. I mean, you get very skimpy. You know, history, you know, teaching on probably max the, the Egyptian history, the Arab histories, but nothing about the, the, the world history or how we are different civilization have been connected, have, you know, have, you know, benefited from each other. So you need to have an overall, an absolute overall uh, to the whole education system. And uh, that is a key. I think that's a key to everything, not only economic development, but change of mindset. We are not looking at ourselves as different, as different part of the world, or that we have a lot of hurdles or a lot of obstacles to connect with the rest of the world. A lot of that is education. Every student has to have the right to have free edu to have education, you know, if you know, and should not be precluded from education on economic ground. Free education, free health care, free social security. It's all, all excellent if the state can afford it, you know. And, you know, I, I don't think in a, in a developing country you have to, to be able to have free education at all level, all the way to the university, to the university level. Uh, I put that question actually a few years back to one of my meetings with President Mubarak, and I said, you know, you know, you, with free education, the, the, the premium is on quantity and not quality. You know, we are not producing qualified, you know, Students, you know, we are producing numbers that they cannot even have a job when they graduate, you know. And, uh, and I said, even from a social solidarity perspective, why is my son, you know, should be, should be afforded, you know, or should be getting a, a free education? I'm, I'm able and capable of paying for him in a poor country, you know. Well, his, his answer, of course, was, oh, don't open that subject because that would, could get, get people to revolt against. Again, this is leadership. People need to go to the, uh, leaders need to go to the people and tell them, we would like ultimately to have free education for everybody if we can afford it, but we can't. The hypocrisy of the whole system, you know, because we talk here about free education, uh, yet, the education is so inferior that you have most students, almost without exception, have to go for coaching outside the school. Uh, what is, we spent, I think, 47% of the overall education budget on private, on, on coaching, you know. So it's even more expensive for parents, you know, rather than if you charge them fees, you know, and give them quality education at school rather than relying on coaching outside. As I said, you cannot continue to have like an ostrich, you know, hiding your head in the sand uh, because you do not want to confront people with different alternatives, which at the end will achieve, will, will be in, in for the public good.